Hi friends and fellow flute enthusiasts, thanks for tuning in to Johnny's Flute Reviews. I'm Johnny Lippard and since 2002 I've dedicated myself to everything flute. I teach, perform, and record full time with the Native American flute. I post videos here on YouTube covering flute tips, tutorials, original songs, and cover songs to showcase how versatile the Native American flute is. If you're new here and interested in becoming a more emotive flute player, or you just love listening to the sounds of the Native American flute, be sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time a new video drops. Now, let's dive into a flute from my personal collection. Welcome back. In this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews, Wow, we're gonna be looking at a comparison of four F-sharp minor flutes in various price ranges. So stick around for this one. I'm gonna get transitioned into these different flutes. So this first flute that we're going to look at is in the key of F-sharp minor, as all of these are. Uh, this one is made from um, Eastern Red Cedar. It's made by Butch Hall. Now Butch has been making flutes for a very long time. He's a veteran flute maker. Um, and he's known for making a very affordable flute. This one comes out of his uh, concert grade uh, flutes. He does make a, a little bit lower grade for, uh, they're great for entry level flute players or someone who doesn't want to invest a lot and try to figure out if the flute is right for them. Uh, I'm a little biased. I think the flute should be for everyone, but we all have to find our instrument. So. This one is, um, of course, made by Butch Hall. Now, the price range on this one is around 135, so it fits nicely in that not spending a lot of money uh, for a flute. So I want to give you an idea of what this particular flute sounds like. So that is the, uh, the first register of the uh, Butch Hall Concert F-sharp minor. Uh, when we go and get into upper register notes, we have to chase those a little bit. Again, we're not working with flutes that are all manufactured by the same company. You know, if all of our Native American flutes came from Yamaha or Fender or something like that, they'd all pass the same inspection. Now, a lot of these flutes are handmade. Uh, you know, with the exception of, of course, power tools. We have that in today's age. Um, so anyways, flute makers use different tooling, different metrics, working with different measurements. And so when it comes to upper register notes, they can be in a couple of different places. Uh, so I'm gonna do my best to go through this one uh, where I think they should be and how easy it is to get those. Pretty easy and pretty spot on. The tuning of this one's pretty accurate to the way that I teach uh, the major scale, uh, specifically those two upper register notes. Um, so I would say this is a great flute. It all comes down to what you hear, what you like, and the voicing of the flute. Let's get to another flute. All right, so next up is another F sharp minor flute. Um, this one is made from mahogany, and this one is made by Rick Switzer of Rain Spirit Flutes out of North Carolina. Rick hasn't been making flutes for a very long time, but he has gotten really, really good at making flutes. I have several of his flutes in my collection. So this is definitely a concert grade flute. Rick is very, um, very particular about the tuning of the flute. And um, so also in comparison to the Butch Hall flute, the um, flue and the splitting edge here is a little wider, which gives us a little bit more volume generally, and in this case it does. So I'll play for you um, this particular flute.
And for those upper register notes, here's what they sound like. Still pretty easy. Again, I'm working with the shape of my mouth, creating better velocity or greater velocity when I hit those upper register notes. Uh, Rick's flutes, his F sharp minor flutes, this one does have a little bit of inlay, uh, is kind of a, a sliding scale depending on you know the wood and the inlay and that kind of thing. So you'll find uh, his F sharp flutes in the like 160 to 230, maybe 250 if they're elaborate. Um, and so he really does a great job. This is, uh, you know, I would have no problems taking this on the stage. As a matter of fact, I have taken it on the stage with me and I've recorded with this particular flute. Uh, so let's get on to another flute. All right, so now we have another F sharp minor flute. This one is made out of Port Orford cedar and is made by JP Gomez of Heart Song Flutes in Arizona. Um, many of you are familiar with uh, J.P. Gomez's work. He's been making flutes uh, since the 90s, uh, sometime in the 90s, and uh, he just really does incredible work. Um, this one is one of his uh, grandfather flutes, a line that he did a few years ago. Um, but the thing that I like about his lines of flute is that the only thing that changes is really the look. The sound, he has a very signature sound in his flutes themselves. So for every line of flutes that he produces, the sound remains the same. And that's one thing that I really appreciate and respect about his work. And so when you get into a flute like this, um, JP Gomez's flutes can be a little bit on the more expensive side if you're just entering into the Native American flute. Uh, so this one is around the $400 mark. Now they will vary greatly. He loves doing custom one-of-a-kind um, art pieces. He is an artist, and so his flutes can get much more expensive. He also has a line below some of these like grandfather and concert lines. Um, he's played around with the name of them for a little while. He's had the courting flute. He's had the uh, Sedona Canyon and the Sedona Concert, which are kind of his entry level. And those you can find in the, you know, $100, $200 range. So let's dive into this one. Um, I have played this one a lot in concerts. I'm very, very familiar and comfortable with this particular flute. For me, his flute has a little bit more back pressure than maybe Rick's flute. Um, the sound, uh, the flue and the splitting edge area here are about the same size as the Butch Hall flute. For some reason, this has a little bit more volume. I feel like the airflow is a little bit more efficient. So let's try those upper register notes now. good, clean, crisp, in pitch. So um, so that would be a comparison from the Butch Hall, the Rick Switzer, and now the JP Gomez flute. Notice that the sound that we're hearing is quite a little bit different. So you'll get, um, just depending on the sound and voice of the flute that you're after. I have one more flute to show you, so stick around. I'm gonna grab that flute. All right, so now I have another F sharp minor flute, the last of the four. Um, this one is made from Osage. It's been uh, stained a little bit. That's where we see the darkening of the wood. But here in the nest area, you see a high contrast, very yellow and bright. Um, this flute is made by Brent Haynes. He is from Wood Sounds Flutes out in Utah. And uh, he's also been making flutes for some time. Uh, I believe um, right as I started in my flute journey back in 2002, 
I believe he was starting to get into flute making. Um, maybe he's done it a little bit, um, you know, before then. I'm not quite sure on that, but um, this is Brent's Sunrise uh, collection. He also has a lot of different collections of flutes. And so you'll find them to be from more basic to more elaborate. This is kind of somewhere in the mid to higher uh, range as far as um, you know how elaborate and the wood choice that he uses. So the price range for this collection is in the like $600 to $800 range. Depending on the key, he offers this one in a couple of different um, keys, the Sunrise uh, collection. So here's what this flute sounds like. It does have a little bit wider um, slow air, not slow air chamber, uh, splitting edge and flu. Uh, this flute doesn't have a lot of back pressure, so for me, phrasing becomes maybe a little bit uh, shorter, um, but I also have to be a little bit more mindful of how I'm breathing. Uh, the mouthpiece and the hole which we blow into is very small here. Um, the mouthpiece is really comfortable. I like how he designs these. So here's what this one sounds like. So let's go for those upper register notes. We're gonna dive right into it. Feels a little sharp, so I'm just gonna change the way that I hit that note. Pretty consistent. Um, I don't feel like that note wants to fall out. Um, of course, I work a lot with the upper register of the flute and work with the shape of my mouth and the velocity in which we uh, play with. So there is a comparison of four F sharp minor flutes ranging from you know the $120, $30 range all the way up to uh, the $600 range. Now I'm going to do a quick uh, preview here and line them up back to back so you'll just get to hear uh, what they sound like in the next few seconds so stay tuned All right, so by that you should have gotten a really great listen of the flutes kind of back to back and hear the difference in the voicing of the flute. You know, flute makers are chasing and producing a different voice with their particular flutes. And so I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. So be sure to give a like to this video and share it with one of your uh, flute enthusiast friends. In the description below, you'll find some links to uh, some helpful videos along your flute journey, as well as some of the gear that I use in performance uh, spaces and some other uh, areas. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Uh, we have a lot of flutes to go through, so I will see you in the next Johnny's Flute Review.